good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the topic projection of plane inclined to both the planes under this we are discussing seventh problem now we'll enter into the problem the given problem is draw a projection of a rhombus having diagonals 110 mm and 50 mm long the smaller diagonal of which is parallel to both the principal planes while the other is inclined at 30 degrees to the hp here the name of the plane is rhombus and its longer diagonal measurement is 110 mm and smaller diagonal measurement is 50 mm here the smaller diagonal is to be parallel to both the planes that is going to be the final condition and other diagonal that is longer diagonal is making an angle 30 degrees to the hp now we'll write the data here the name of the plane is rhombus and length of the longer diagonal 110 mm and length of the smaller diagonal 50 mm then in the problem it is mentioned that the longer diagonal of the rhombus say ac is inclined with an angle of 30 degrees to the hp that means we are keeping corner A on HP and tilting the longer diagonal AC with an angle of 30 degrees to the HP. If you tilt the longer diagonal of the rhombus with an angle of 30 degrees to the HP means total surface is to be tilted with the same inclination with the HP. Therefore, surface inclination of the plane with HP is equal to 30 degrees. That is theta is equal to 30 degrees. Because surface is inclined to HP, then for the initial position assumption, what we need to do? We are assuming the rhombus plane is parallel to the horizontal plane so that its longer diagonal is parallel to HP and smaller diagonal is perpendicular to XY line. Then in top view only, we are able to see the true image of the plane next what is the condition they had given in the problem related to the smaller diagonal smaller diagonal is parallel to both hp and vp this is the final condition this is the final condition what is the final condition smaller diagonal is parallel to both hp and vp but in the initial position the smaller diagonal is perpendicular to the xy line but in the final condition we need to have the smaller diagonal parallel to both HP as well as VP. Then the rhombus is resting on its corner while its surface is making inclination. Then that corner containing remaining two sides makes equal inclination to the XY line. Assume corner on HP. So corner containing two adjacent sides make equal inclination with XY. Here corner A is on HP. Then Corner containing remaining two sides say AD as well as AB making equal inclination with XY line. Now we'll move towards what is the correct way of positioning the initial position of the plane object that we'll see now. Now we'll see what is the correct way of positioning the initial position of the rhombus related to the given problem. In the problem, it is given that longer diagonal of the rhombus is inclined at 30 degrees to the hp for initial position assume the longer diagonal of the rhombus is placed on hp such that it is parallel to xy line here this is one case and this is another case in this case the longer diagonal ac is parallel to the xy line whereas in the case 2 the longer diagonal ac is perpendicular to the xy line so according to this statement that is the longer diagonal of the rhombus is placed on HP such that it is parallel to XY line. Then this is the correct way of positioning the plane for initial assumption. And this is incorrect way of positioning the plane for initial assumption. Now we'll move towards brief overview of the solution related to the problem. The plane inclined to both the plane problems can be solved in three stages. Stage 1, initial position assumption. Stage 2, surface inclination with reference plane. Stage 3, side or diagonal inclination with reference plane. In this particular problem, here 
the longer diagonal is parallel to HP. That means total plane is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. That is first stage. In the second stage, the longer diagonal is making an angle 30 degrees to the HP. So that total plane is making an angle 30 degrees to the HP and plane is perpendicular to VP. That is second stage. And in the case of third stage, the smaller diagonal is kept parallel to both HP as well as VP. With that, we got final front view shape like this. How we got this final front view shape like this, that we'll see now in detail. Stage one, as a first step in stage one, draw XY line. After that, the stage one is a initial position assumption. What we assumed in the initial position, the longer diagonal is parallel to the XY line and smaller diagonal is perpendicular to the xy line in the initial position of the rhombus then draw longer diagonal with a length of 110 mm and smaller diagonal with a length of 50 mm both are bisecting each other at this particular point so draw longer diagonal ac with a length of 110 mm and smaller diagonal bd with a length of 50 mm both are bisecting at this particular point then join a, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. This is the rhombus. Then we'll do the dimensioning for this. A, C is equal to 110 mm and B, D is equal to 50 mm. That is drawing top view of a rhombus is over. Then we'll draw front view. For that what we need to do through A, B, C, D points of the rhombus draw projector towards the reference line name this point as a dash this point as b dash comma d dash and this is c dash then join these points here this a dash c dash line is the front view of a rhombus when it is perpendicular to the vp and rhombus is on HP. Then we will move towards second stage. In the case of second stage, we are considering the surface inclination by keeping the corner of the rhombus A on HP. Here, the corner A of a rhombus is on HP. So, its front view falls onto the XY line. And this total surface is tilted with an angle of 30 degrees to the HP by keeping corner A on HP. That means this A dash falls onto the XY line and the entire front view is to be rotated with an angle of 30 degrees to the XY line. So reproduce the front view of the first stage keeping A dash on XY line and AC line is to be making an angle 30 degrees to the XY line. That is at A dash draw 30 degrees inclination line. After that with compass A dash B dash as a radius, A dash as a center, draw an arc and with compass A dash C dash as a radius, A dash as a center, draw another arc. That is drawing second stage front view is over. Now we will draw second stage top view. How to draw second stage top view? Through a dash, B dash, D dash, C dash, draw projectors vertically down and from the initial top view, say A, B, C, D points, draw locus lines. After that, locate intersection points, say this is A1 and this is B1. It is C1 and this is D1. Then join all those points. This is the second stage top view. Now we will move towards third stage. In the case of third stage, the smaller diagonal in the second stage top view to be tilted so that it is parallel to the XY line stage 3. In the case of stage 3, we are reproducing the top view of the second stage keeping B1, D1 that is smaller diagonal parallel to the 
xy line so draw b1 d1 that is smaller diagonal parallel to the xy line then draw perpendicular to b1 d1 line see that the distance of this perpendicular line to b1 point is equal to distance of the b1 point to this bisecting point after that we compass b1 c1 as a radius b1 as a center draw an arc on this perpendicular line with the same radius b1 as a center b1 c1 or b1 a1 as a radius as both are same draw an arc on this perpendicular line name this point as a1 then join a1 b1 b1 c1 c1 d1 d1 a1 with this we completed drawing third stage top view then we'll move towards third stage front view for this draw projectors through b1 c1 d1 a1 points in the third stage top view towards the vertical plane after that draw locus lines through c dash b dash d dash and a dash then locate the intersection points that is from b1 this is the projector coming and from b dash this is the locus line coming both are meeting at this particular point similarly from c1 this is the projector coming from c dash this is the locus line coming both are meeting at this particular point similarly we will get intersection points for d point as well as a point after that name those points say this is a1 dash this is d1 dash this is c1 dash and this is d1 dash then join a1 dash d1 dash d1 dash c1 dash c1 dash b1 dash b1 dash a1 dash this is the final front view when longer diagonal is making an angle 30 degrees to the hp and smaller diagonal is parallel to both hp and vp that is the smaller diagonal say bd is parallel to the hp as well as parallel to the vp that's why b1 d1 is parallel to the xy line b1 dash as well as d1 dash also parallel to the xy line now we'll see overall summary of the solution the solution part is divided into three stages stage one stage two stage three in the case of stage one we consider the initial assumption that is initial position assumption here we assumed that the longer diagonal ac is parallel to the hp so that the smaller diagonal bd is perpendicular to vp then in the case of second stage we considered the surface inclination of the plane here we tilted the entire plane keeping corner a1 on hp and longer diagonal ac is making an angle 30 degrees to the hp so that we got solution related to the second stage like this in the third stage here we are tilting the second stage top view so that the smaller diagonal of the rhombus say b1 d1 is parallel to the xy line that means we are keeping the smaller diagonal of the rhombus bd is parallel to both hp as well as vp so here the image of the smaller diagonal of the rhombus in top view say b1 d1 is parallel to hp and the image of the smaller diagonal of the rhombus bd is parallel to vp in front view that's why b1 dash as well as d1 dash is parallel to the xy line this is the final front view when smaller diagonal of the rhombus say bd is parallel to both hp and vp and longer diagonal of the rhombus say ac is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees to the hp here the length of the longer diagonal is 110 mm and length of the smaller diagonal is 50 mm all dimensions are in millimeters this is very very important problem and that's about the solution related to the given problem
visit again for more videos on engineering graphics using the links provided under description of this video keep learning on knowledge sharing thank you for watching